Welcome to the prophetic response. Prophet Peter Wellington is my name. And I'm glad to come to you, ladies and gentlemen. I think for many of you who are following us on social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, you are now aware of the prophetic messages that the Lord God has been laying in my heart and I've been so uh, genuine to bring them to you. And many of these prophecies have come to pass and come to fulfillment. Now today I'm going to be speaking to you about a vision and a prophecy that the Lord God laid to me to offer unto the nation of Zimbabwe. Now what did I see? I saw the vision of a huge bus, not an ordinary bus, but more like uh, uh, these long distance traveling buses. Now when the bus stopped in front of me, I discovered that inside the bus, there were two things of paramount significance. Number one, I saw many employees that seemed to be coming up from their workplaces. Number two, I saw that inside the bus, there were sex which are carrying maize or grains. But now, as I continue to look in the vision, my challenge was about the size of the sack and the number of the grains which were uh, accommodated by the sack. Now, in the view, I saw that the size of the sack couldn't be accommodated by the bus. The, because in, in the vision, even the uh, size of the grains which I saw, they were so big enough that they couldn't be accommodated in the sack to an extent that some of the sack were about to break and to be torn apart. But as I looked, I saw a woman, I think the only woman whom I saw in the bus, she shouted with a loud voice and called upon the men in the bus to help offload every maze or every sack which was in the bus. As it happened like so, it turned out to become a beehive of activity and people began to take away and offload every sack of maize from the bus. Now hear me very well. As I did listen and watch over this event taking place, then suddenly I heard a voice from above like a supernatural voice which now spoke and said zimbabwe beat zambia 4-0 i'm going to repeat the words of the supernatural he said zimbabwe beat zambia 4-0 as this took place and the vision vanished in my face now early in the morning of sunday when i woke up before the service i asked it for the interpretation because i was startled I didn't know how to interpret the vision, but thank God for the grace and the providence of the Holy Spirit. He explained to me, and this is the interpretation of the vision. So the bus which I saw doesn't speak of a bus. This was a representation or symbolic of the nation of Zimbabwe. Now hear me very well. The people whom I saw who were inside the bus, the workers, this is a representation of the working class or the citizens of Zimbabwe. We've been waiting for the days of the greener pastures to come. Now, hear me very well. Now, the, the sex which I saw, which were carrying maize, this is a, an emblematic of the prosperity which God is laying in the nation of Zimbabwe in the next few months to come. Now, when the Lord spoke to me about this, he said, I must implore, I must tell, I must encourage fellow Zimbabweans not to lose hope because we are not far away from a breakthrough and a breakfast. Because hear me very well, the amount of the sex which I saw and the size of the grains, they are speaking of the size of the abundance and the prosperity which God is about to lay in the nation of Zimbabwe. Now hear me very well, the Lord told me to tell fellow Zimbabweans, the prosperity which is about to come is not going to be in accordance or is going to not be uh, you know, because of the elections or because of the results of the election. But people of God are supposed to understand that the days of remembrance towards Zimbabweans have come to pass. Now hear me very well. The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter number 11 and verse number 12, it says when Pharaoh did whatever that he did to stop the breakthrough in the nation of uh, 
uh, Egypt for the sake of the Israelites. Now, he did whatever that he did. But on the last day, the Lord sent the greatest plague, the tenth plague. And he said this time, Pharaoh is going to release you. He has held you and resisted your freedom in the past. But this is the time that when I shall send the last plague in the land of Egypt, Pharaoh will release the people of the living God. I'm here to speak the same thing to fellow Zimbabweans. This is the time when the Lord is sending the last plague in the nation of Zimbabwe. And the breakthrough of fellow Zimbabweans is about to come to pass. I said, I saw, and I heard a, the, a, I heard a voice of the supernatural. And the voice said, Zimbabwe beat Zambia 4-0. I want to interpret this for you. I know that right now there's been freedom in the nation of Zambia. And the Lord spoke to me. Number four in the prophetic represent the number of difference. And God is saying now, Zimba Zambians, if they got freedom, Zimbabwe won't just got, will not just receive freedom, but they're going to receive freedom with the difference. Because the days of Zimbabweans to be remembered by God have come to pass. The days of Zimbabweans to be released, to receive their independence have come to pass. I want you to understand this. Number four is a number of different. So God is saying, what I'm going to lay on in Zimbabwe shall be different from Zambia. What I'm going to lay in Zimbabwe shall be mighty and greater than Zambia. If Zambians are free, Zimbabwe is about to receive more than freedom. Fellow Zimbabweans, I want you to understand this. The hour has come where the Lord God of might is initiating freedom is initiating a breakthrough in the nation of zimbabwe do not worry about the elections do not worry about the results the lord god will do it whether by results or no results it's a time for zimbabweans now the only woman i saw in the vision is a representation of the church the church was telling the people giving them hope saying come and afford the sex out of the bus and i speak the same thing also to you god is telling me to tell you it's a season to prepare by prayer, by understanding, by the wisdom of the Holy Ghost. Let us not fight, let us not engage in violence, but let us wait for the moment that the Lord God will lay the much needed relief in the nation of Zimbabwe. I urge all Christian community to pray about this. I urge all believers to keep their fingers crossed with their hope alive in our Savior Christ Jesus. He's going to liberate Zimbabwe and our lives are not going to remain the same. God bless you, fellow Zimbabweans. Until I meet you again, I say shalom.